story is quite classical. It's a western. A bad thing happens and somebody has to do something about it. The, the western genre is, a, is quite a well-defined genre. Everybody's familiar with the, the classic motifs. This film has taken those motifs and, and used them. Ultimately, I think it's a, it's a good old-fashioned Western. The way Christian approached it, it, it's an homage to Western cinema of the, of the past. I've always wanted to do a Western since, you know, since I was a little boy. Um, and I read the script, and by the time I got to the bottom of page one, I knew I was I was yeah. in. So it is it is one of those childhood dreams that every every well, most boys have. My love for movies started with westerns when I was seven, eight years, nine, ten, eleven. You know, I grew up with High Chaparral. I was a small kid sitting in my chair. Mama let me see it on telly. So it's for me, it's, it's, it's a, this is a boy dream. Yeah. Hardcore western movie. I wanted to be in the Western since I was about seven. Because I have seen so many Westerns, I feel very at home. It's like coming home to something you know real, real well. My name's Oli Steele. I'm the onset armorer for The Salvation. Uh, what I do is I deal with all the practical firearms um, that the actors will be using in the extra make sure that they get loaded correctly, that fire them, teach them how to use the weapons themselves, um, so that they look like they're actually cowboys and haven't just walked off the street and the first time they've ever picked a gun up. And then yeah, the rest of it is go on to set and teach actors and go have fun. Trying not to come off a horse also is, is a very important part of it, as I had a couple of scares. Moi je l'ai monté à cheval déjà. Donc, euh, sinon, euh, sinon je savais qu'à une semaine on ne pouvait pas prendre un monté à cheval. Very exciting, very funny. It hurts in the bum. <laughs> So I am the man with the cigar. I spend a lot of the time kind of, um, I suppose, uh, doffing my cap to all those cowboys in the past, the Clint Eastwoods, by smoking the cigar right the way through the movie. Not being a smoker, it's a little tricky. I have to be honest. By the end of the day, I'm kind of yellow up to my gills. Ready and ash. We have two different towns. We have Black Creek, which you can see in the back over there. 
but it's more a normal western city. And to make it a little bit different, we make this city like a burned down town. We are in an area where it's not allowed to burn stuff, so we have to use small grills to fill every plank. So it took much more time and much more power from the people than we fought in the beginning. Working with somebody like Christian, every little thing matters. I certainly haven't worked to this degree of detail before, and it's just brilliant. And when I look at this town, it's as close to the, the old west as I know it's gonna get. It looks perfect to me. The set itself embeds you in a kind of, you know, its own reality. But as you can see, they've done a very good job of making it into something that looks like a western.